Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom Resort. So the Contemporary, the Grand Floridian, the Polynesian, maybe the Wilderness Lodge, but we'll see if we can get there or not. Anywho, I'm here because I want to show you guys some of my favorite things to do at each resort and kind of just have a fun monorail loop around. So let's go do this. And starting out, we are at the Contemporary, which a lot of you guys know this is one of my favorites. I love it here, and they have a lot of nifty things you can do. And one of those nifty things is you can actually rent your own pontoon boat and take a boat ride out on Seven Seas Lagoon. How cool is that? We're gonna do it. I don't know if we can do it right now because they are closed because of inclement weather, but they will reopen. We're open. And this is what we are gonna do right here. $45 for 30 minutes. They do offer 15% annual pass discount. And then they also prorate it for every five minutes. So let's have some fun on the water. I'm all wristband up and that means I'm a driver. And we're not getting these ones, more or less those ones. It is required to wear a life jacket. Well, not wear it, just make sure you have it on you in case of emergencies. We're right here. So right here? Is, yep, right over there. It's our uh, Contemporary Resort Marina. If you look straight ahead, right in front of us, all of this is Bay Lake, the bigger lake of the two, yep. with Discovery Island in the middle. Ooh. So you can absolutely take a look at the cast. We're, are we split lake? No. Okay, so we can, uh, you, can, you can go over to Seven Seas Lagoon if you like. Ah. So using our water bridge. And it, look at this baby. Yeah, I like it. So I'm going to start out driving, but how cool is this? They actually have Bluetooth for your music. You can charge your phones. You can put your phone here, but you can't use your phone. No texting and boating. We're jamming out to Wishes. How awesome is that? And look, castle right behind us. Wow. I don't know if you can hear me too well, but there's the contemporary Space Mountain Magic Kingdom. And then the Grand Floridian right over here. Look at that. Beautiful. About to go over the water bridge, which uh, is basically a bridge made of water. Yeah, how cool is that? But I want to show you the horn. Ready? Listen to this. How awesome is that? Look at the Wilderness Lodge here. Unbelievable. And there is River Country. Or what used to be River Country. Now it's just a big old pile of dirt. There is the shoe tree. Look at that. What's left of Discovery Island? Our time has come to an end. Now it's time to park this bad boy. So that was perfect. 40 bucks. Well worth it. Honestly, uh, it was great. You got to see River Country, Discovery Island, get up close to Cinderella's Castle, well, Magic Kingdom. Overall, that is probably one of the best experiences for 40 bucks you can get here at Disney. Now we're going to take the monorail and hop on over to the Polynesian because we want to see what cool nifty things we got going on over there. And there is no better way to get from A to B than the monorail. And we are at the Polynesian. 
Wow, I love the smell inside here. Contemporary is still my favorite smell, but poly definitely comes a close second. But it definitely has one of the coolest looking lobbies. And a must do if you're at the poly is definitely get yourself a lay or get laid. Yes, look at that. Aloha. Oh. Oh, can you lay the camera? Aloha. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I gotta lay. And free towels. At the Poly, there's actually two different spots I really like to hang out and chill at. One definitely being Trader Sam's, but the other being the outside patio of Trader Sam's. The difference between the two spots is Trader Sam's is usually very busy and you have to wait and then once you do wait it's standing room only but outside they have all the same drinks but plenty of seats. And it's not that bad and sometimes they even have some live entertainment out here. All of the drinks you love from inside at Trader Sam's also available out here. Very relaxed atmosphere. You just listen to the waterfalls behind you. Well, look at that cool effect. Whoa. It's just so pretty to stare at. And just the overall atmosphere here. I mean, the lights are beautiful, the fire that they have going, a very nice relaxing spot. You can hang out on the beach, sit down, and they actually have hammocks out here now. They haven't had those before. It's very nice though and quiet. And actually, we were gonna wait for a boat, but since the Grand Floridian's right over there, we're gonna walk from the Polynesian to the Grand Floridian because it's such a nice night out. And just in case anybody was wondering, here is some of the fishes you can find in Bay Lake. Mm-hmm, very important to know. I'm actually super shocked how quick it is a walk from the Poly to the Grand Floridian. And it's actually a very pretty walk. Very nice. Seriously, not a bad walk at all. And we're already here. We're actually at the Grand Floridian. Sorry, it's very humid out, but I am fogging up like crazy today. Let me just take a second and point out how great the Magic Kingdom looks during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Look at that. And just in time to actually roast some marshmallows. Look at that. I love it. This is so awesome. I've been wanting to do this for a while and we just walked into it. Oh, yes. I went to the um, open like, ballroom. Oh, oh. Oh. There it is. Oh, yes. That's the good stuff. And we made it inside now. And check out these cool lion statues. I've never seen these before. That's pretty awesome. Wow, things keep on changing here because I remember the band used to be up there until they and put in the Enchanted Rose. Then they moved the band down here and now the band has their own little corner over here. Regardless, I love the band. And look at all the fall pumpkins here at Grand Floridian. Very pretty. That is huge. Hand for scale. Without the than just hanging out in the lobby listening to the band there is something else that I always love to do with the Grand Floridian I just love washing my hands at Basin you get to test out all the cool body scrubs and it's great This is pretty fantastic. 
It smells just like Fruit Loops. Crazy, and they have a whole bunch of different types. I tried the unicorn. Oh, they have pumpkin sugar souffle. Ooh. Look at all these fancy soaps. Pumpkin spice, autumn leaves, bats, ghoul friend, and remember me. <laughs> Honestly, this resort is just so cool. I just love looking out and people watching and listen to music. Awesome. One thing I cannot wait for is Christmas time here at the Grand Floridian. I absolutely love it here. I love the tree. I love the gingerbread house and it's going to be extra special this year because like I said everything has changed in here. The way the band was set up, now the new lounge. So I'm excited to see if anything changes for Christmas but who knows. I guess we'll find out. But for now we're going to get ourselves a monorail and head back over to the Contemporary. There it is, our monorail. And just like that, we are back at the Contemporary. Just in time, look who's coming in. Hello, monorail. Oh, it's monorail Lime. And with that, I think we are done with today. I had a lot of fun, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was actually a great day, and I feel like we got so much accomplished. Pretty crazy, but love the life you live. We'll see you next time, bye.